If you're looking for the best saltwater spinning rods, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Fenwick HMG Spinning Fishing Rod. This rod changed the game 45 years ago as the first graphite pole. Fenwick has since reinvented this old classic to give you a great new spinning rod. The Fenwick HMG is the best saltwater fishing rod under $100. The original design is held up, but they've added a few additional features. The Fenwick HMG comes in its original full graphite design, so it's durable and lightweight. It is a light power rod, so it is ideal for catching small fish like gray snapper and bluefish. It is maneuverable at six feet long. It would be great for use on the shore or in shallow bays. It features a full AA rated cork handle. It is comfortable even after a full day of fishing. It comes with Fuji line guides like many of the models that we have tested. It comes with a positive lock alien reel seat that will fit most spinning reels. I thought that this spinning rod was classically designed and at a reasonable price point. It was super easy to cast since it's only six feet long. The light action made it easy for me to pull in tons of small fish quickly. The maneuverability of this spinning rod is hard to beat. Moving on to the next at number two with Shimano Travala Spinning. If you're a serious saltwater angler, then you need a pole that can do it all. The Shimano Travala is the best saltwater spinning rod on the market. It features the best materials that we have come to expect from Shimano fishing gear. The Travala model is made of a graphite composite that is strong, but super lightweight. It is a rather short spinning rod measuring at five feet and eight inches. Since it is a shorter pole, it has fantastic casting accuracy. As most anglers say, it has a strong backbone and great lifting power. It is classified as an extra heavy power rod for reeling in large fish. It features Fuji line guns. They significantly reduce friction and line wear. It features a split grip design with comfortable Eva foam handles. I took this spinning rod out on the Gulf Coast of Florida for an offshore fishing trip. I was totally impressed with its quick action. Since I was fishing for marlin, the extra heavy action was perfect for reeling in these fighting fish. I wouldn't recommend it for surf fishing since it is quite short to cast over waves. The number three position is held by Ugly Stick Elite Spinning Fishing Rod. Sometimes you will need a rod that will perform well under many different conditions. We named the Ugly Stick Elite the best all-round saltwater spinning rod. It performs well in many situations. It's a great rod to grab when heading out the door for any fishing adventure. The Ugly Stick Elite is a top-notch spinning rod that is designed to be versatile. It is made of a composite graphite material that is lightweight and durable. It features the signature Ugly Tough line guides that are tough enough to battle with any fish. The Ugly Stick Clear Tip design makes this fast action rod perfect for medium fish. This model comes with the cork split grips like the previous model that we reviewed. Cork handles are comfortable and lightweight. This spinning rod was impressive on my shore excursion last month. I like the fast action paired with medium power. I was able to reel in medium size fish but much quicker than using a slow action rod. Next at number four, we have Okuma CSX S1102 MH Cedros. For all the surf anglers out there, this one's for you. It was designed with surf fishing and light tackle in mind. The Okuma Cedro Surf is the best light tackle saltwater spinning rod. It offers the most significant casting distance out of all the spinning rods on our list. Okuma absolutely pulled out all the stops for surf fishers when they designed this rod. It comes with a tough and lightweight composite blank made out of carbon 30 ton carbon graphite. This is an impressive 11 foot spinning rod that is designed to cast out past wave breaks. It is useful when utilizing light tackle as your bait. This rod has a line weight of 30 to 50 pounds, so it is ideal for reeling in large fish like my mahi and yellowfin. This spinning rod from Okuma was great for surf fishing. The length allowed me to cast much further than other small spinning rods. I was able to clear the wave breaks every time. I like the comfort grip. Since you're normally quite far out in the water when surf and light tackle fishing, you need a non-slip grip. The number five position is held by Cast, King Crix's fishing rods. Everyone loves a great value. Anglers can be tough on their fishing gear, so finding a product that is worth every penny is essential. We deem the Cast King Crixus as the best saltwater spinning rod for the money. 
It shines through the competition with excellent features. Cast King is a big name in the fishing community, and they didn't disappoint with this spinning rod. It is made of the M6 graphite composite, which is fast and light. Cast Flex technology creates a powerful and sensitive rod that's easy to cast all day. It features a golf club style super polymer handle that is slip resistant. You never have to worry about losing control of your rod in the water. It has stainless steel line guides that won't fray your fishing line. It comes in a two-piece style so that you can still travel with it. This Cast King spinning rod performed exceptionally well and at a great price point. I like the polymer grip. It was easy for me to hold on to and superbly comfortable. I fish for medium-sized tuna and had no trouble getting them into the boat. The number six position is dominated by Pen BTLI I for million seven hundred one M Battle Roman two four thousand spinning reel combo. This product is unique since it is the only one we have reviewed so far that is a rod and reel combo. If you're looking for an all-in-one fishing pole, then this is the model for you. The Pen Battle Roman two is the best saltwater spinning rod combo available. This is a great spinning rod for beginners or experts alike. This pen. Battle model features a graphite blank rod with a full stainless steel reel. It is lightweight and easy to cast. The blank features aluminum oxide guides. It comes with a full EVA foam grip that is comfortable for all day fishing. The reel features an aluminum super line spool that allows anglers to tie super lines without backing. It comes with the HD100 drag system for heavy drag when reeling in big fish. Some anglers are skeptical about buying a rod and reel combo, but this model worked well under pressure. I was impressed in the way that it handled medium and large fish. The medium power and fast action made it easy for me to pull up most catches. Moving on to the next at number seven with Daiwa Ardito Travel Rods. Reeling in a big fighting fish requires a rod with a backbone. You'll need a top-notch medium heavy rod. The Daiwa Ardito is the best medium heavy saltwater spinning rod on the market. This rod has a lot to offer in terms of innovative fishing technology. The Daiwa Ardito is made of an IM7 graphite composite. It's lightweight and fast action so that you can pull fish up quickly. The graphite blank is constructed at a 45 degree angle to help eliminate blank twisting. It comes in three pieces so that you can easily travel with it wherever you go. The V-Flex ferrule system ensures that the rod stays together. It has Fuji guidelines that offer the best in low friction fishing. There's also an included semi-hard traveling case, which is a nice bonus. Since this pole is a medium heavy power rod, I wanted to try it out during a deep sea fishing trip. I was aiming to catch some snapper and redfish. I was impressed at how this held up to some 10 and 15 LB snapper that I caught. It had a quick action, and I didn't have any issues reeling them in using a mono line. The number eight position is held by Berkeley Big Game Spinning Fishing Rod. Traveling with fishing gear can be quite tricky. Saltwater spinning rods don't always fit easily into your car. We chose the Berkeley Big Game as the best cheap saltwater travel spinning rod. It's easy to travel with, and it comes in at a reasonable price point. The Berkeley Big Game rod is the only spinning rod we've reviewed that is made of fiberglass. As we talked about earlier, fiberglass is durable and strong, but it's heavier when casting. It is not as sensitive to small changes in lower movement. It is a two-piece rod so that you can take it apart when traveling. It comes with a custom Fenwick reel seat and titanium guides. The medium heavy power is ideal for reeling in medium to large fish from a pier or bank. I thought that this pole was great for traveling. At 8 feet long, it is great for casting long distances. It can be hard to find a spinning rod that has the length for casting but can still be broken down for travel. This spinning rod takes care of that. The two-piece construction fits well together when in use. Next, at number 9, we have Fibbling Saltwater Graphite Jig Jigging Spinning Fishing Rod. Deep sea fishing can be one of the most exciting excursions that you'll ever go on. Being out on the boat and reeling in big, multicolored fish is exhilarating. The Fibblink Saltwater is the best deep sea slash ocean fishing rod available. This Fibblink model is designed to take your deep sea fishing game to the next level. It is ideal for vertical jigging off the side of the boat. It comes in a one-piece graphite blank with a heavy power rating. It is six feet long, which is good for casting off of a boat. If it were any longer, then it would be much less maneuverable in close quarters. It has stainless steel guides with ceramic inserts that reduce friction on braided lines. It has comfortable EVA grips that will keep your hand steady on the pole. This saltwater spinning rod performed well on the latest fishing charter that we took out. I brought this pole with the intention of reeling in some huge wahoo and grouper. Once the line was in the water, 
I was impressed with the sensitivity and pulling power. It reeled in large fish without a problem. I wasn't a big fan of the guide material for extended use. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by St. Kowal Rod's Mojo Inshore Spinning Rod. Deep sea fishing can be awesome, but it does require a bit more effort than inshore. If you're an inshore angler, then this spinning rod is perfect for you. We named the St. Kowal Mojo the best inshore saltwater spinning rod. Similar to the previous model that we reviewed, it comes in a classic and elegant design. It features a split cork handle that offers a superior grip. It comes with aluminum oxide guides that have a corrosion-resistant black coating. It features a Fuji DPS reel seat that will keep your reel in place no matter how tough the fish. It has two coats of flex coat that will protect the rod from damage by salt water. It also has a kick and a hook keeper, which is not present on the other models we reviewed. I took this spinning rod out for a day in shore bay fishing. I expected it to work perfectly under the calm water conditions, and it absolutely did. It has a higher line weight than the previous model I reviewed. I was able to reel and howl by and redfish. That's all for today. We upload fishing product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.